Hello, welcome to another TV series review, The Missing. Um, for those that has stars, a cable network, a premium channel, you probably have seen this show even 2015 or even 2016. I'm not sure when the show came out. I just know that the second season already kicked off. Um, but for those that have Amazon Prime, like me, Here's your chance to watch the show, The Missing. Um, it's a European production, I believe. It's uh, the majority of the show took place in France, and it's a crime drama. Um, it's about an, an abduction of a young child. I think the child was. I'm trying to remember now. <sighs> I could be wrong, but maybe seven, eight, or nine, something like that. But anyhow, the majority of the cast was fairly unknown to me, except for the lead detective. I will put a picture right here. I can't pronounce his name, but he's a French actor, I believe. I have seen him in many U.S. productions. Often, he played the bad guy, I think. Um, so... That was one familiar faces, uh, one of the few familiar faces in this show. The rest are fairly unknown to me, but I think the acting here was solid across the board. Okay, there is nothing to complain about as far as the acting. Very well done. This show is very well written, very well directed, um, very well paced, as you can tell. <laughs> Everything is very well done. Um, I was very surprised. You know, I did not expect this at all. I did not hear. I didn't hear anything about this show, uh, unless I'm missing something. But I can't recall hearing anyone recommending this show. Yet when I watch it, I was sucked right into the drama. Um, it's only eight episodes, so anyone can easily binge through in a week. If you have Amazon Prime, I highly recommend it. Um, you know, for those that have kids or kid, like I have one son, it is I can see, I can relate to the trauma. Uh, it's it would be hellish to have a child abduct, and the way the show was shot, it is um, in many ways similar to. The way, say, a show like, say, True Detective on HBO was shot. You have, you know, part of the show is in the past, back in 2006, where the child was abducted. And then the present, because the the mystery was never, the crime was never solved. And then it was reopened uh, many, many years later, the present time. So, every episode, you have the past and the present, the past and the present. And it it's so well cut. As far as I'm concerned, you know, it's 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 well told, well paced, well acted. Um, it kept me guessing. You know, often many of these um, crime mystery, you either have too many misdirection that become absurd or not enough, where the mystery wasn't really a mystery, and you know, m many viewer like me can figure out who done it. Not this show. I think this show did a very good job in just giving a little misdirection here and there and kept me guessing on my toes all the way to the end. So I give this an 8.5 out of 10. Um, you know, that's a very high mark for me. Uh, I often don't give anything uh, near 8. Uh, so to get 8.5 out of 10, that's a very high score for me for this show um, if you have Amazon Prime if you like crime drama mystery this is it go watch it um, this is a spoiler free of course so I'm not gonna say anything but I would have been fine with the show if it ended in the first season sometimes a great show does not need two season but there is a second season I'm not sure where is heading. Um, I hope this is not one of those shows that 
suffer a sophomore slump. I have seen many shows that have a great first season and then stumble on the second season. This show is good enough for me to now consider pay a premium for just a month so that I can watch season two on stars. It's well worth you know the fourteen bucks whatever it is they charge for one month subscription to watch this show. Uh, I would rather spend eight hours watching eight good episodes than spend ten dollars here bad movies. Anyhow, that's my review for The Missing. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.